Hey, my beautiful collective. Welcome to Swift Intuition. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if anything resonates. So tonight we're gonna do um we're gonna tap into our shadow side uh collective. So it's basically gonna be what spirit wants us to work on in being that our shadow side. Last time I did this, um we not only got messages on our shadow side, but we got messages on what was to come and what may trigger those particular shadow parts in us that we have not healed. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to this energy. All right, Collective. I am using the dark mirror. Like I said, I am a, I'm an intuitive reader, so therefore I don't know all of the meanings to the card, but whatever the image, image. <laughs> Whatever the image tells me, you know, but let my spirit discern it. Let my spirit guys tap into it so that we can get the best outcome. Oh, Lord. All right, y'all. Messages and love and life for beautiful collective. Heavenly Father, I want to say thank you for every cross watcher, every watcher, everyone who is tapping into this energy. Lord God, may that may may every message hit home. Man, be bring clarity and understanding right now. I ask you any type of discomfort, any, any, any unclarity, any miscommunication that that the collective may be going through. Give them clarity right now. Give them understanding right now. Give them power in their situations right now. I thank you for the victory of the collective. I thank you for the the victory of the conscious mind. Victory is ours. Victory and healing is our portion receive that all right messages love and light spirit what is it the collective needs to know so we have to today for tomorrow today for tomorrow and we have 32 which equals five which five is changed okay so what today for tomorrow means is that things change i feel that Sometimes we, uh, for the collective that's watching this, Spirit is saying that you, that we have to understand that we are changing. Within the full moon, there are things, um, that are happening <laughs> for us not to, not to fear that change that's coming. And this is being that, not being afraid to let people know who you have become. Because I feel like with some of the collective now, it's like you've been doing your own healing separate from people that who used to know the old you. And one thing, when you evolve, that means your whole body has changed. Even in the Bible, Romans chapter 12, verse 1, 2, um, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that ye present their body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God within your reasonable service. But be not conformed unto this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. So basically, the things that you've been learning apart from people that you grew up, apart from people that feel like they know you, the the things that you've been going through have been changing your mind, which have been changing your outer body, changing your experience. Once you know to, it's like when you do, when you know to do better, you know better when you do better. What is it? I, that's not the way it's supposed to. It's supposed to go. It's say you, you you do you knew better. You do better. Something like that. And it was like um, when you was a child, you thought as a child. Now that you've grown adult, you think as an adult. It's like the experience that you have experienced in the past have brought you to this understanding, realization that hey, I'm not the same person. I don't act like that no more. Why? Because I've had experience. And it's like when you get to a point of being experienced and then you may run into somebody who knew you when you were not experienced it's being okay to be who you have developed to be and not try to die down that experience to make yourself more pleasing to someone that is more inexperienced because at the end of the day you are the fucking gift all right so today for tomorrow to me is like Understanding that you are not who you were yesterday and you're continually growing into this beautiful being that that the most high divine de designed you to be, which is not who you were yesterday. So the people that you dealt with yesterday should not be able to recognize you so much today or, you know, I'm not saying you're going to switch within a day, but some people do, you know, but, it, but, but it's like being okay with that change that you're going through and understanding that everybody isn't on the same level so who I was 
yesterday. I am not today. And I'm okay with showing my growth. That's all it is. Messages of love and light spirit. What should our collective work on? Pertaining to their dark side. Okay. Envious and uh, gluttony. Okay, so... With this being the nine, and the nine is usually like ending cycles, um, envious. Envious is more, I feel like always more detrimental than um, than jealousy because envious is feeling that you deserve something. And I feel like Spirit is saying, do not get so comfortable with it. Feeling that someone else is walking in the shoes you should be walking in. You know what I'm saying? So what that means to me. Because like envious is feeling that you deserve something that someone else is having. And gluttony is basically you overindulging in something that it, it like something that you really shouldn't be. It doesn't matter if it's if it's good for you. You eating too much of anything is too much. So it's like you diving into uh I feel like when I gossip keeps coming to mind if you're around people who keep uh comparing or bringing someone's achievements up not to celebrate them but to use it as a catalyst to p bring them down i feel like you need to check the surroundings that you're around because if you're around these type of envious people and they're rubbing off on you then that means your spirit isn't as strong as it should be and if you feel that somebody is going is experiencing an experience that you should be experiencing then it's something that you need to tap into to experience that but you hating on the other person or you feeling that I deserve this like at the end of the day it's your mindset you have to transform your conscious mind transform your mind to say you know what if she's gotten it I'm this close to her I know mine is next it's how you think about things that the universe gives to you because if you're thinking oh she deserves what I got then the universe is going to continually to give her these great things because you're not confessing that you are are the author of these good things and that those good things are coming to you because you deserve it not not um feeling feeling downplayed or feeling less than somebody because they're experiencing something that you want to experience if you want to experience you affirm it every day if you want to experience you align yourself in a position to receive those opportunities nobody's better than you it's only your mind that allows others to be better than you so if you know you are the shit you're going to start putting forth action to proving to yourself that you're the shit you know what i'm saying because as you if, because if you focus on somebody else's victory saying oh this is what I need that I mean you are giving to their energy and you're taking away from yourself and it's showing insecurities I'm just saying this is the truth so with that and then being a nine this is completing so you need to complete this stage of feeling that oh this person got it, even though I do the work if that's the case the work if you do the work and you feel like and you feel like, um, and you feel like that, uh, and you feel like if you do the work, you should be, uh, exalted or you should be recognized. You focus on you. Fuck what the next person is doing. Okay. Because whatever they're doing, it can either inspire you or distract you. Do not let it be a distraction. Okay. Messages of love and light spirit. What does the collective need to work on? Shadow size, the things that we don't want to deal with. We don't want to acknowledge these things, but they are a part of us. Then we have calling the storm. Mm. Calling the storm. I feel like uh, some of y'all are hard to work with. Spirit saying, um, everything that you see does not need to be addressed. You hear me? Because uh, sometimes I feel like for... For the collective who this, the, the calling the storm is for, it's about working with other people. It's about having to either um, be over other people, having this type of control, you know. And it's like, Spirit is saying, with the power that you do have, be humble. Be humble with it. Be fair. Be just. Be kind. Because if you call on the storm on uh, on something that the storm was not needed for then when you need that power and that strength 
later on down the line, it's going to be lacking because you used up the juice before time. So spirit is saying, don't go into war prematurely. You hear me? Don't go to war prematurely. Everything that you peep don't have to be spoken about. Everything that you see don't have to be addressed. Sometimes you got to move in silence. That's that's the best part about surprise attacks is that you're not talking about it all the time. You're not you you're not being so confrontational all the time. Spirit saying save that energy for when you need it because a lot of a lot of times we could be over exalting or we be over over exuding ourselves with this energy with on situations that didn't even need that much power. Like it's like we're overdoing it. We're showing over showing our force. We're 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 overdoing it. And you don't have to. The spirit said there's some things that people could have checked you on in the past about. Like, bro, you you you're doing too much. You like, no, I gotta No. First things first, you need to calm the storm that's in your mind. Because the thing is, when you want to check or go off or just show your power so quickly, that means that it's something in your mind that is feeling unhinged and like you have to prove a point. But when you have power, you understand I don't have to prove shit because at the end of the day, if I unleash this shit, you're going to feel it. I know it. I don't need your ignorance to tell me, oh, you're not powerful. I know my strength. No one is at the battle. So spirit is saying, be more willing to work with people and 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 and, and be be swift to hear, slow to speak, be swift to understand and slow to put the smack of down. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of times you move, you move so quick, you're moving out, you're moving off emotions or you're moving out of the realm of control and spirit saying to be this powerful being you have to have control family all right spirit let's get some messages from this deck let's go ahead bust it down bust it down okay today for tomorrow spirit oh okay we have mirror <laughs> Yo, we have mirror. And look and look at what the deck is. Dark mirror. So this is about reflection. We have to see ourselves for who we truly are. Or else you'll be having this image of you being something that you're really not. And one thing I say, self-evaluation is key, baby. Mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, uh, reflection, reflecting our rooms, introspection. So right now with this, Spirit is saying... Reflect who you are, you know, don't be afraid to show your true self to those who you were showing a false image to in the past. You are no longer that person that, that seeks to please others. Who gives a fuck what the next person thinks? You love yourself. You know you are the shit. And if they don't want to fuck with you the way you are, then fuck them. The end. See how great that is? Just walking your power. Fuck them people. Fuck them people. <laughs> also, I do advise you. Oh, I forgot the author. But if you look it up, it's called The Art of Not Giving a Fuck. You should really, really dive into that book three, four times. Think about it. I think I'm going to listen to it again. Messages of love and light. Okay. And then for envious and... uh. Gluttony is addictions, codependency, obsession, possession, uh, uh, controlling, has a block or strain. Spirit is saying, if you feel so intense on envying somebody and their success, Spirit said that's a form of obsession. And I feel that you should not be obsessed with anything because you give that thing power. Believe it or not, if you sitting there every day, there's this one person, you and your people always gossiping about because gossip keep popping up. And matter of fact, stop listening to negative people. If your friends around you only gossip about people, what they got on, them motherfuckers gossiping about you too. That's all I'm got to say. And if y'all are pinpointing one person to continually gossip about, that means that person is hit, that's kind of inspiring you. And you are obsessing over them, which is not good because you're giving them your power. Why give someone outside of you your power when you can store your power and make yourself stronger 
The spirits say, don't be codependent on it. Don't be codependent on friends talking about people to feel so that you can feel like, okay, we won because we talking about the same person. No, you know, people around you are insecure. And that's the reason why they envy those around you that you probably should be inspired by. Do not get envy and inspiration uh, uh, or or inspiration in, in competition mixed up. Just because somebody inspire you and you desire to have some of their characteristics, don't mean you got to act like you're competing with them. No. Take the inspiration for what it is. You find it, make it your own, and you inspire somebody else. We got no time hating on nobody because right now we're trying to feed ourselves. Thinking about somebody outside of myself is giving other people too much energy and and I want all my energy. Just saying. I ain't going to keep y'all long. Anyway, messages of love and light, spirit. What is calling the storm? Calling the storm. Spirit say keys on the ring. Many options, decisions, unconventional, string alongs, one night stand. See? <sighs> I got to say it because I feel it. See, the three is with working together with each other. When it says many options, I feel that um, decisions, conventional, string along. <sighs> Spirit is just telling me this. If you make a decision or something, don't be bipolar with it. So if you make a decision to do something one night, don't add extra drama to a situation. You already knew the situation in the beginning. Like I said, calling the storm is making is 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 doing more than you have to to get your point across. You feel me? But I have to say, do not set yourself up for failure. Like if you're going into a situation and you already know if it looks like a duck, sounds like a duck, eat like a duck, damn it, it's a duck. So if you're trying to make it a chicken and you like, well, the the you know, it could be a chicken. Like no, it's a duck. I know they're both fouls and, you know, and, you know, I understand that, but they're ducks. So don't make it a big issue. Tomato, tomato, akuna matata, whatever it is. Don't make a big deal if you already know the circumstances or the outcome of certain situations. And this is telling me. Don't put yourself in situations where you feel you're going to have to be guarded to blow up. What do you mean, Mercy? Because this this says keys on a string. And let me read the definition again to you. It says many options. So clearly you got options. It says decisions. So you're going to have to make a decision on one of them options. It's unconventional. Unconventionally. So that means, okay, it's not going around. It's not the same way as in court. And so usually the typical person say, before you have sleep with somebody, you need to be in a relationship with them. You need to have some type of understanding. So unconventional is like, if you meet somebody and your, and your vibes is right and then you sleep with them on the first night, that's kind of unconventional to the un, un, unhinged ear or the the one ears that choose to be closed, right? The string alongs. This is like somebody that may need you as an option and want somebody else as an option. And you know, they're just going to drag you along because they feel like, hell, I want to keep both of my options open. She, that person is allowing me to, which I say allowing because you have an option of not being a string along, knowing your worth or whatever. Did we have one night stands? So with the call in the storm, I feel like you, somebody could have made a decision to do some unconventional things and then it's like they want to make more of it than what it was. Spirit says, don't do that. Don't go into something that you feel is going to trigger you. Don't go into something where you feel like you're going to have to have your, your guards up to expre overly express some type of emotion that you suppressed. You feel me? Because the only reason why you're overly expressing something is if you suppressed it for too long. Anyway, that's all I have for you. So, if any of that resonated, um, like I said, like a subscribe, comment, but uh, all of this is for our healing. Some of the things I said probably triggered you, you know, because it triggers when we're not healed, but there's some things that we have to face. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I want to say I love you. Love yourself because we are the gods. We have to know it.